Welcome back, everybody, to 7 Days and I'm an Old Guy Gaming, and this is the Casual Construction Series. And uh, what we're going to do in this uh, episode is we're going to continue working on uh, the, the base here, or the, the house, I should say. I uh, spent a lot of time, of course, working on the hard base, and I have an idea uh, for something else I might want to try with it, but I wanted to get back, you know, to working here on the house because it's been a long time, actually. Uh, since we we did work on the house so we're going to dedicate uh, this episode to doing that so uh, what we have left to do in general is we have to you know have to paint of course and we might actually do that next um, you know we need to get shakes on the roof and um, just do some painting and decorating and then you know make this this is you know supposed to be like our bedroom and whatnot so we'll get some furniture up here and that sort of thing and I also wanted to set up, you know, some lighting in the house, you know, get rid of the, the torches and have some actual lighting. Uh, so that's on the to-do list. And uh, I've stopped, I, before I started this episode, I went around and uh, checked all the traders uh, looking for uh, a few things, uh, one of them being electrical relays because I can't make those. And so I bought, um, I don't know, 11 or so off of one of the traders uh, for the relay. So we have more of those. And I also uh, bought a, a blade trap from one of them, too, because I had to replace a blade trap in the horde base. And, you know, because we respect, I don't have advanced engineering level three to make my own blade trap. So, you know, that's going to be something that is going to be a bit of a, of a challenge or could potentially be a challenge, you know, if we lose more blade traps on subsequent horde nights. <clears throat> um... I'm going to, you know, I'm going to have to rely upon the traders to have, hopefully have those in stock. Uh, but the good news is we've got lots of traders uh, on our map. I think we have, what, five or six? We have one, two, three, four, five, six, oh, seven. Yeah, we have seven traders in total. Um, so it's just that it takes a long time for me to, to drive around to all of them. And when I do that, I usually use the motorcycle because it's a little bit faster and a little bit more mobile uh, than the 4x4 is. Another thing we need to do is we got some points to take care of. So we have four points available. We're going to just continue uh, pumping fortitude. So all four of those points are going to go into getting this up to fortitude seven. And then we're going to get machine gunner to four. And then we're going to probably start putting some points into pain tolerance and healing factor. So that's what the plan is uh, currently with the points uh, that we're doing. Other things I still want to do is I'd like to get 69er up. Uh, a little higher than it currently is and you know I might even throw a point back into lock picking too just so we can make our own lock picks uh, but I have started buying the uh, the safe tracker candy uh, lucky looter would be nice but you know as time goes on there's less and less loot that we actually need um, but you know I mean we need we could use a, a few more upgrades for our equipment so I guess from that standpoint it still would be good you know to put a few points into here and then, you know, I'd like to put some points back in salvage operations. Uh, we don't need really need salvage right now, but at some point we might. Uh, and another point in penetrator too. So lots of stuff that we could still put points into. But for now, you know, the focus is to get fortitude um, uh, or rather, you know, get machine gunner up now that we have. Uh oh, we haven't done it yet. Okay, so let's, yeah, let's spend those points right now. Um, and then we'll get machine gunner up to four because that's still our oh shit weapon and then work on toughening ourselves up a little bit with those two uh, right there. Okay, so that takes care of the points. Um, what we're going to do now is I want to... I'm trying to figure out exactly uh, what I want to do in terms of glass here. Um, I could, you know, I could just put straight up glass panes and it would be almost 100% transparent, but I don't think that's going to look really good. I thought about maybe putting stained glass up here, or, or we could use, you know, block, you know, like cubes of glass kind of thing. <clears throat> um, the one downside to using glass, of course, though, is that it's, it, unless we used bulletproof glass, uh, is it's really weak, you know, so one cop spit and the whole thing could shatter. So, you know, I'm not sure if there's a whole lot we can do about that if we want to use glass, which we do. Um, you know, that's always been uh, my plan to do that all along. So we'll, we'll have to kind of figure that one out. But I'll tell you what let's do right now. Let's go over to here. Uh, we, need get, we need to get some sand going. So let's grab some sand uh, because I want to make some glass. 
uh, you know, just make some glass blocks and start kind of seeing what our options are uh, with that. All right, so while while we're waiting for the sand to smelt, I've got some candies I want to go uh, drop off in the 4x. So let's put all that stuff in there. Um, let's go ahead and do a little bit of painting while, while we're waiting for that sand not to smelt so we can make some glass. Get on up there, buddy. So I've been, you know, scrapping dyes when we come across them, and I got quite a pretty decent supply of paint on hand now. So let's just grab the full stack of that. And I got a paintbrush here. So that's good. And what we want to do now is we want to... Let's do the roof first. And, we're, you know, we're going to paint the roof with shake, you know, with a, a shingle shake type type of look to it. And I think what we'll have to probably do is we'll probably have to build some kind of a, you know, makeshift scaffolding uh, to do that. So let's go ahead and put some blocks there. And then what we, well, here, let's try this. Let's get the paintbrush out. We'll press the R key and we want to put it on the paint roller right yeah so we get so we do a large surface area and then we want to find the shingle shake shingle a uh, look so where is that going to be hmm why am I not seeing it here all right let's try this if we do roof okay here we go so we got Beige metal roof, rusted metal roof, blue, clay, green. Really? We don't have, like... I thought we had, like, a shingle. Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Okay. Shingles wood. That's what we want. Okay, it was just under under shingle, you know, instead of uh, roof. Okay, let's go ahead and just put a big swatch of that on. And um, get this roof painted up. Okay, so we have the, the roof finished now. Uh, painted with shake, so it looks pretty good. 
uh, shake shingles. Um, now I think the next step is to uh, paint the start painting the sides of the house um, to look like logs because this is supposed to be kind of like a, a cabin. So let's go ahead and do that next. We're going to go into materials and we're gonna type in log and wood siding log cabin. So for this one, I'm probably just going to do individual uh, blocks just because I don't want to get a bunch of spill over. So let's go ahead and get started with the logs. care of that. Um, what if we add some shutters? Hmm. I don't know. Does that fit with the log cabin? Not sure about that. Let's just add it and then if I decide I don't like it later, I'll, I'll change it over again. What would look better is if we had like some, um, you know, like some wooden shutters that you could cl open and close kind of thing. We'll go with that for now, but like I said, if I, if, if I decide I don't like it, then we'll change change that up. All right, let's see. What's next? We'll have to figure out the deck, of course, and um, we're going to have to do the interior too. We could actually leave at least the walls anyways the way they are. I mean, it kind of looks good. I think I would want to change the floor, though, in here. Um, and whatever we go with the floor, we could potentially also use out here. So let's take a look at our options. I, I, you know, the other thing I should have probably done, but it's a little late now, is I probably should have... Um, you know, just got uh, or activated creative mode because we have, you know, more options for painting. But, you know, if we did that, we wouldn't closet door top. We wouldn't be using actual paint, I don't think. Well, that, that kind of looks cool. They still sort of look like shutters, but they're a little more decorative. Yeah, let's try that. So yeah, we'll just do this in survival mode. The, the nice thing about creative mode too, or probably the main reason I would use it, is because it has um, it has the option, I believe, where you can do whole you know whole blocks instead of one side at a time. Um, you know, and this is one area in Seven Days to Die that I really miss. Imperion Galactic Survival, which is the other survival game I play quite often, um, only because in, in Imperion you can use, you know, um, what's it called? You can use sing the what the hell is it called? The um, oh man, my brain's not working. The the plane, you know, that you can you can put down for oh that I don't like the look of that. Oh my god, what the hell is that thing called? I just totally don't know what it's called. I mean, I know what it's called, but it's it's escaping me. It's called the something plane. <laughs> Jeez. Um, it, anyways, what it does is you put it, you set down like a, a midpoint on a structure, and then anything I paint on this side will be mirrored on that side. Um, so that, you know, that's what I'm thinking of, but I just 
my brain's just not working right now. Uh, I miss that about Imperion. And, you know, in Imperion, you can also color the whole block um, in, in survival mode. You don't have to be in creative mode to do that. And unfortunately, we're pretty limited in seven days with that stuff. Let's eat some food, man. We're going to have some stew. We're going to have chili dog. And how about a taco? And hopefully all three of those things will get our food back up. If not, well, we got plenty more food. And then let's have a yucca juice, too. All this painting's making me thirsty and hungry. Symmetry plane. That's what it's called. The symmetry plane. <laughs> oh, jeez. There's no excuse for me, man. There just isn't. I'm just old. That's all there is to it. Okay. Um, I might change the sills here, too. The only problem with that is I can't make the you know the outside and the inside different um so we're, we'll leave those the way that they are for now all right so let's take a look and see what our flooring options are we want this you know we're cut we're going for the rustic look so we want the floor to reflect that as much as possible you know within the options that we're given so let's see what do we got going on here those are a lot more iron Okay, so we got some wood floor options here. Um, what does western wood like? I'm, I'm afraid western wood's probably going to be a little bit rough for a floor. Yeah, you wouldn't want that for a floor in, in real life, so let's not do that. What else do we have? We've got kind of this wood fence and the wood floor polished. I mean, that could work. It's pretty dirty for a polished floor, though. <laughs> uh, that could definitely work. So let's keep that one in mind. Let's check a couple more out, too. Um, all right, so we were on the page three here. There's wood wainscoting. See, you know what? I like that. The only thing I don't like about it is... You know, it's in it's in squares, whereas this is all continuous like a floor typically would be. That might look good though for for the sills. Yeah, maybe we'll change the sills to this. I kinda like that. I like that better. Okay. Um so yeah, I'll I'll change that over later. Let's just look for at a couple more potential options before we decide for sure what we're gonna do. This is wood old, this is wood oak. Wood floor polish, wood fence, wood wood crown oak. All right, what's that look like? Hmm, that's not that's not bad either. I don't know. That's I don't know that I would do that for a floor. That's really more of a trim type of look. Okay, um, what is, what does wood oak look like? Okay, that could certainly work for a floor. But it doesn't give us the, the slats like this one does. I kind of like the slats. That's not bad though. I mean that, we could certainly do that. Okay, let's try a couple more. So we've got wood old. That might look too rough. Oh, well, no. That could certainly fit too for a floor. It's not quite as fancy schmancy as this. The thing I don't like about this is it's all dirty, right? Whereas at least this is this is kind of scuffed, but at least it's not doesn't look like somebody tracked their muddy feet and then it dried on the floor like this one does, <laughs> you know? Um Okay. Well, that's, you know, that's workable, but it's not, it's not really tickling my fancy, if you know what I mean. Um, we used this wood fence uh, in our uh, expert, no, in our, our wasteland playthrough. I remember you doing that. Let's, did we already try the wood crown oak? I think we did, didn't we? 
Yeah, that's that one. Okay. So, you know, if, if we're going to go with wood, which which I want to because it kind of fits, you know, the rustic theme here. Uh, rough, rough cut. Yeah, that definitely looks like if I was walking around the house in my stocking feet, I'd get slivers in my <laughs> in my feet. Um, plus, it's all faded looking too, which I, I don't like. Well, I think, you know, out of all the options, I mean, this is what this one looks like. And it actually does look pretty good overall. That's supposed to actually be a fencing. But I, I think I'm favoring this the most. It would be between this or the oak option that we uh, we also looked at, uh, which was wood oak, I think. Wood wainscoting. Yeah, the wainscoting we kind of liked, but... So, so it's it's really going to come down to either this or this. And unfortunately, I can't ask you guys your opinion because you won't see this video for probably a week and a half from now. I'm just a little bit ahead of you guys, but it's just the way it is, man. Me getting ahead of you, the good thing about that is I can release a video for you every single day. Um, so, even though it puts us off a little bit on the comments, that's the plus side. So, all right, well... Hmm. Here's what here, here's what we're gonna do. This is we're gonna kind of waste a little bit of paint, but oh well. So let's just paint the whole side with this one. We can't do that in the entryway. I do like that. I mean, it, it does work. It does work. But let's go to this side. And, well, we don't have as good a light over here. Okay, yeah, we'll come around the corner here. And let's paint this one, the other one that I'm considering, which is uh, wood floor polished. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm, I, I think I'm favoring this one, guys, at least for outside. Maybe we could do the wood floor, po uh, wood floor polished on the inside. If we change this to the large one, we should be able to get in the corners. We might actually use a Wayne's coating on that. Yeah, I kind of like that. I kind of like that. Oh wow, check that out. It even does the it does the stairs, but it doesn't do the rails. That's odd. Okay, so I think we got underneath everything. Didn't, did we get, it doesn't look like we got underneath the refrigerator. That's okay. All right, so, yeah, I, I kind of like this for inside, so I think we're going to keep that for indoors, but I think this looks better outdoors. So, let's go ahead and switch back to, to that one there. Uh, which is wood oak and we're gonna make oh shit we're gonna make the outside um, this get the sides of that there we're gonna run out of paint here pretty soon Let's, mm, I don't know. I'll have to figure out which one of those I want in the walkway there, in the sill. Now, I'll probably actually paint the concrete 
with this too. Yeah, so yeah, I have that. This door though, I had to actually put flush with the outside because you know, because of the other door here, which we could arguably actually remove now. Or maybe put that door downstairs, I'm not sure. I'll have to think about that too. Lots to think about. Okay, so yeah, I'm liking this. I'm liking this. Let's do this too. Let's go ahead and, starting here, we might as well paint the concrete too. I don't think we can paint the iron bars. Can we paint the iron bars? Ooh, we can. Look at that. Yeah, that's kind of neat. It's kind of neat. I've got um, I've got a little more paint in the house, but we're probably gonna have to make some more too. It's looking better. All right, I like it. Yeah, I didn't think we could paint that. Okay. Um, I'm not. I'm not gonna do this for now. It's good to know that we can do it, but I'm not sure that I want to use a wood grain on what are supposed to be metal bars. Well, what are metal bars? So we might try something different on that later. Okay, let's go back inside now and let's put an actual Wayne's coating down here and take a look at that. So that was a wood Wayne's coating oak. Put those all along the wall. I don't think I'm going to be able to reach that. I might have to um, put a land claim block down and pick that stuff up to get behind it. Okay, we got behind there. Sometimes if you hit it right on the corner, you can do it. Yeah, I might end up actually taking that door out now. And, you know, we could put a door down here, really. We'd have to we have to change a few things to get that to work right, but we could do it. Just in case, you know, they actually broke through the drawbridge, but that's so unlikely to happen. It could happen if we did horde nights here, but of course we don't do horde nights here. Oh man, we screwed up our sink and our, our thingamadoodle. Okay. Can we get the corner there. We're, okay. Yeah, so for this other stuff in behind. Oh, nice. Okay, we got that one. I don't think there's... Is there any way we can get to that other one without picking stuff up? Okay, we can get to this one. But there's still a block behind there, behind there. Uh, can we hit this from here? Nope. So we're going to have to pick that stuff up to, to get that part of the wall done. But uh, it's looking good, man. Looking good. Let's go back to this one and hit that block there. All right, now, you know what I think I'm going to do since we, and this is something I should have done right from the get-go, is we're going to change these out to actual storage bins and then paint them to look like a sink and an oven, and then we'll get a hell of a lot more storage space out of it. Since we have, you know, since I screwed it up anyways, we might as well change it and do it right. So let's see, we're going to need some nails for that. Uh, wooden storage furniture. So we need 10 nails per. Do I have nails already? I do not. Okay, so let's make up some nails here. Um, I think we're going to make four of these for what I have in mind. Uh, which, that means we need 40. <laughs> not four. Uh, so we'll make another 36. Okay. 
I don't have anything in the sink. Let's take this stuff out of here and just temporarily put it here, I guess. And we'll take our cooking stuff off of there. And then let's grab everything out of here and just put it in here for now. How's our nails coming? Okay, so we'll do two storage boxes in here and we'll do two uh, storage boxes in here. Need some more crossbow bolts to replenish from our Shotgun Messiah factory run. Uh, oh, incidentally, I did the next quest that we're going to do in the next Let's Play is the hospital. Had a really hard time finding tier 5 quests that were not the two factories. Um, and I didn't see any options at all for skyscrapers. In fact, I suspect I might not even have, <clears throat> excuse me, have any skyscrapers on this map. I've never seen them, but I haven't uncovered the entire map yet either. So, yeah, not sure what's up with that. Okay, so we're going to need to make a new campfire because I think this one's going to break when we pick this up. It might not. We'll see. Just grab some stone, be ready for that if that's what happens. Okay, so you're empty, you're empty, you're empty, you're empty. That's all considered metal, huh? Okay. Yeah, I figured that was going to break. While we have all of this uncovered, let's go ahead and paint behind here. Okay, so what do we want to do for the upper the upper wall here? Um, I mean, we could leave it as is, of course, but would it look better if we did something different? Something like maybe rough cut wood. We already looked at that. Wood wainscoting, wood oak, uh, wood oak crown. I mean, that could work. Yeah, that could work. I, I don't dislike it. I mean, what, what if we actually just made it use the log uh, look? Because technically it should be logs on the inside too if this is a log cabin, right? Unless you covered the wall. Yeah, I, I think... I don't know, this just feels right to do it this way. I think that's what we'll go with, at least for now, unless I change my mind. Which I reserve the right to do. I think I'm going to put the sill back to logs for now, too. Because it just kind of works, you know? It just kind of works. All right. That's looking all right. That is looking all right. Let's get this painted here. Um, not sure what to do about this, but I'm not even going to worry about that right now. All right, I'm going to I'm going to take this out. I don't like the I don't like the look of it. Anyway, I never did, but that was more done for security reasons than any other reason. 
And we're going to... We are, in fact, actually going to go into uh, creative mode just so that we can pull the door out. Because there's no way to make the door that I want in survival as far as I know. Okay, so we're going to pull one door out. But we're going to make a door in our inventory and then just toss it so that you know that we've used the resources and then I want this door to like these other ones be in this way like so there we go okay looking good now let's grab these things and what we're gonna do is we're gonna put one there one there one there and one there Okay, and then we're going to go to here, and we're going to cabinet red doors, cabinet red drawers, probably this one here. Yeah, I think that's the one we want for that. We want the side of this just to be the red cabinet side. So, and then we want to paint the top to look like the top of a stove. No, that was the sink. Okay, we'll, we'll use that on the stove. Um, nope. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, right, we're in creative mode now. <laughs> cool. How come that just showed up? Because you're in creative mode. Let's get back into survival mode. See, the nice thing about these is it's going to give us a lot more space now. Okay, so this is a sink. We got an old counter sink or a granite sink. Uh, what's this one look like? Nah, I don't like that. Let's go with the granite sink. There we go. I think that's what we had there before anyway. Now we need to paint the front of the stove. So let's just go with wall oven. That's, I think, what was there before anyway. Okay. And then, unfortunately, we don't have an actual refrigerator option here. But what we could potentially do is use trash compactor there. And, I mean, I don't know. There's just not a whole lot else we could use that's going to look right. We could do a, just, you know, a double trash compactor look, I suppose. Or we could just, you know, do the beverage coolers, this thing here. Beer coolers. What? I know these are supposed to be for cupboards, but what if it was a, a gray refrigerator? I don't like that. I don't like that. Well, okay, we're pretty limited on our options. So what we're going to do is we're going to make that the trash compactor and just kind of pretend like it's a refrigerator. And we can either do another one of those or we could do that for the second one. Yeah, I mean, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter. Um, it really doesn't. So let's just go with that. But we're still going to consider all three of these refrigerators. Okay, so for the sides of this thing, do we have just kind of like a white metal look? Metal duct soft. Metal white. Kind of looks like shit, but... Okay, I think that works. I think that works. Let's repla uh, replace our campfire here. I know in, in certain mods like Valmod, for example, and all the other mods that use Valmod, um, you can actually make 
you can make an actual working oven, which is really nice. Because, I mean, it still looks kind of dumb having a primitive campfire <laughs> in your modern day house. But, you know, what can you do, right? What can you do? All right. So, this is looking good, guys. This is looking good. I'm not... I mean, we've got to figure out what we're going to do with the pillars. But let's go back outside for a minute and just take another look-see here. Um, oh, yeah. we got to do the deck, too. So... Let's just let's run out here and just kind of get the long view of this and just kind of see how it looks. Okay. I'm digging it. We still can't really get the full effect because we have to do the deck. And a, a large portion of the house is kind of blocked by the by the um, wall anyway. But it's come along. It's come along. Okay. Let's see. So we are probably really close to being out of paint here. But we do have another nope, 472 there. Okay, so what are we going to do about these pillars? This doesn't look terrible, but it doesn't quite look right either. What if we made... This is probably going to look weird. Yeah, nope. <laughs> I don't want that. Um, what if we... What would this look like? That's not terrible. Still not quite what I, th you know, think we should have. What's this? Metal reinforced wood. That's kind of cool. It's different. Okay, we won't rule that one out. We'll keep that one in mind. Um... Wood old, wood crown, wood floor, wood fence. What's wood fence look like? All right, could work. It's a little, it's a little grody looking though. Okay, what if we just go with wood oak? Okay, what if we go with an actual log look? Hmm, I don't know. I'm not sure I'm picking up what that's putting down. I'm not really using any real specific criteria for this. It's just I'm doing it and seeing how it makes me feel. You know what I mean? So that's what it boils down to. Uh, what does the Wayne's coating look like? That's not bad either because it, you know, it kind of puts it puts the rings around it. I'm thinking maybe that's what I like the most, actually, out of everything we've tried so far. Anyway, I'm thinking that's what I like the most. All right, so the last thing we want to do downstairs here is we want to do the ceiling. So, um, what are our options for the ceiling? Keep it in mind that this is a rustic. We're going for the rustic look here. Eh. Well, first of all, what... What does the game give us? It gives us drop ceiling, which really wouldn't make sense in a in a log cabin. 
drywall ceiling white or wood ceiling? I wouldn't mind that so much, but it's the wrong color is the problem. And I don't know. I don't think we can color that, can we? Concrete blue. Yeah. I mean, do we have just straight up color options? Concrete red, concrete purple, concrete pink. There, there might be in the creative menu, but as far as I know, you can't do that in survival, which kind of sucks. Concrete mustard. All right, well, let's go ahead and go back here then. So we could, what's that? Wood winds coating red. Wood siding tan, wood siding white. See, these these are, are pretty grody looking though, because they're you know, like exterior siding kind of thing. Those are all shingles. What does the red wood look like? It's a little red. Yeah, that's not working for me. Okay. How about... wood fence that's very similar to what it already is except for that it removes the middle you know this little middle divider thing all right and I know too you know this is also very subjective what I think looks cool you guys might not and vice versa so there is that, right? Um, there's awning, red, carpet, 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 carpet. We don't want carpet. Carpet six, drop ceiling two. Sidewalk cracked. Well, all right. I think that we're going to have to go with something... fairly simple here I mean that you know that works and it does it matches with the pillars and since I don't really have any better ideas right at the moment I think we're gonna go with this and as always we can change it later if we decide to try something better you know we never actually you know what we didn't do we didn't try the logs that hadn't even occurred to me uh, let's see this one no that doesn't look right that does not look right okay so let's just go back to this one here okay we're, we're gonna settle on this for now but like I said um, we can always change it later there's no nothing that says once we set this this is the way it is forever Right, guys I think that takes care of the the first floor it's not looking too bad in here if you don't mind my saying so and it's looking pretty good outside too I think these little shutters even though they're not technically shutters do work a little bit better than what I had up there you know before so now we have to do the upstairs all right now, it might just make sense for us to use the same flooring up, you know, upstairs as we did downstairs. So I think we're going to do that unless um, I come up with a better idea. <laughs> so. All right. So let's get our large brush out.
And actually, you know, the rails don't look half bad with this texture either. It's not screwing up anything out here, is it? I don't think so. Switch back to single block mode to finish up the these other areas. Yeah, I just wish this floor didn't look like someone tracked the mud in the house kind of idea. Can't I jump up on there? Whoa. There we go. I think I might have been, well, I don't know. Not sure what the hell was going on there. That looks pretty nice. That's really weird. Okay. Um, let's hit these rails too. Why in the hell doesn't it paint the top of the rail? That doesn't make sense. Weird. Weird, man. Weird. Okay, let's go back to this one for the pillars. And we'll just take those all the way up. Brush has a long reach. Uh, what would this look like? I like that look for the stairs. I think that looks good. All right, let's nerd pull up here. Maybe right about here. I'm gonna bump our head on the the roof here. Oh, you can't paint these? Oh, man. Really? Why not? That sucks. Uh, so you just plain can't paint them at all, huh? What, what about the tree trunk look? Nope. <laughs> okay, well, we can't paint them. We're stuck with that look for our support beams there. Not looking too shabby, guys. Not looking too shabby. Now, what do we want to paint the inside of the ceiling? Do we just want to follow the same thing we did down here? Or do we want to try something different? Um, I'm feeling like we need to do something that's just going to be like long slats. So, we don't want the wains coating. The wood oak is kind of just solid all the way across, right? I mean, it sort of kind of has slats, but... Plus, it's just weird that the... You know, that the ceiling would be scuffed, because it's not like people are walking on it, right? So, um... Hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. 
wood barricade. What does that look like? Oh, that's just like straight up plywood look. Okay. Is there anything on these other pages that we could potentially look at? Black granite. No, I don't think so. Glass industrial medicine cabinet. Yeah, none of that's really doing much for me. These are all like carpets. Rusted metal roof, rust black. Yeah, those are all metallic textures. Burnt wood paneling. Don't think so. Don't want redwood. Green metal roof. No. No, 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 no. Though that would be appropriate for some cabin builds. Uh, exterior, anyway. Tar paper. Oh, right. No, we don't want that. There's the western wood idea again. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I don't... I don't know. Not sure I'm digging that. We don't want to do the, the same thing that the floor is doing. What about just straight up wood fence? Oh yeah, no, that's the same crappy look that it's already already is. With just the middle thing removed. Wood crown. I mean, that could work. I suppose. Actually, that could work. Okay, let's keep that there, but let's try a couple more before we commit here. So there was another one. We already tried the wood oak. Wood old. This is the one, yeah, that has just those slats. See, I wouldn't mind that, but I don't like the color of it. Don't really dig the color of that. We don't have a lot more options, though, really, when it comes down to it. Um, you know, again, sticking with the rustic look. What does this look like? It's a little bit on the red side. Yeah, it's really just this texture, but kind of more reddish. All right, well, I'm, th I'm thinking this is our best bet. So I think this is what we're going to go with. And here again, you know, if I decide to, that I want to try something different later, we certainly can do that. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, and get the ceiling painted with this texture here. Oh, we're out of paint. Thing. All right, let's, um, I think we have everything we need to make more paint. What are those ingredients? Chrysanthemum and oil. Okay, let's grab some chrysanthemum. Not chrysanthemum, chrysanthemum. I always miss, well, not always, but sometimes I mispronounce that. Let's just throw this in here and this in here. Okay, how much does one oil and one chrysanthemum make? Uh, I'll put some wood there. Oh, it makes a hundred. Okay, nice. That's not bad. That's a pretty good exchange. Put the gunpowder up there. can go in there okay so we got a hundred paint so if we do ten then we'll get a thousand so here's what we're gonna do um, we're going to do 500 in there and 500 in there doesn't take very long either. 
Okay. Let's put some of this other stuff away. I mean, for goodness sakes, that, that's so cheap and easy to make. I probably shouldn't even be wasting my time scrapping dies and taking up inventory space moving forward, you know? Uh, what the hell happened there? Oh, shit. I always do that. <laughs> we need to be on, on this. Um, all right, so let's go back to here. Fix that. Okay, and then we need to go to here and fix that. Okay, I think everything's fine there. Uh, all right, let's finish uh, finish the ceiling here. All right, now I kind of had in mind that the very peak there would be like a big, you know, stout beam kind of idea. Um, so we could try the whole log idea on that. Well, no, that's not going to work because it's going the wrong grain. Okay, well, so much for that idea. Um, then probably we want to just go with a solid looking wood color, which I think was this um, wood oak right here. See, the grain's not even going the right way on that, though, either. Ah, shit. We might not be able to do anything about that. I don't think you can change that. That's another thing you can do in Imperion, is you can change the direction of the, um, you know, of the texture. But I am not aware of how we would do that here. What would this reinforce look? That kind of adds a little character to it, doesn't it? And this paintbrush has a really long reach. I mean, I'm I'm still wondering or pondering using that for for this too. I kind of like it, really. You know, it's reinforced wood with banded steel, but it also just adds a little more flavor to the whole look of the place. So everything's not just, you know, oak stained wood look. Almost even has a little bit of a, of a Norse feel to it. At least in my mind it does. Yeah, you know what? Let's run with that. Let's run with that. The more I think about it, the more I like that. I think it looks cool. Just adds a little more character. All right, you guys. Uh, I think that's, for the most part, it for painting. Um, we do need to... I mean, I could I could make all of that look like wood, too, so it's more gardeny. Uh, yeah, we could do that, but be, let, let's finish the house though first. The one thing I do still need to do is I need to, I need to pick this stuff up and get the stuff behind it. But I mean, I'm thinking about fudging on that just a little bit, and going into creative mode, and just hitting it from the other side. Um, I mean, we're only talking about two blocks there, two blocks there, one, two blocks there, and we already did those. So, we use one paint per block, right? So, how many was that again? Two, four, f I think that's only six that we would need to do. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to toss that out. We're going to go into creative mode. And then we're going to um, use that texture picker. But, then we're going to, oh, i got to make sure I hit the right one. So it's the one on that side. 
Uh, we're going to go uh, paint all sides. And then, you know, I'll, I'll fix that again later. So on this side, we need that one. This is just easier than putting down a land claim block and then having to pick everything up and then have to put it back down later. Uh, okay, so we're going to need these two blocks here. And then we're going to need the two blocks underneath the window here. Okay. Now what we'll do is we'll uh, remove the paint all sides option. Um, wait, what? How do you turn that off? Do you, oh, do you have to just go back to this? Yeah, okay. All right, now let's uh, get back out of creative mode. And then all we have to do is just fix the outsides again here. And then we're good to go. I hear Azika Ruski walking around out there. There we go. Oh, I missed missed that part. All right, looking good. Looking good. I don't think we want Wayne's Cody on the outside. That's that's an interior thing. I didn't do that over here, did I? No. Just double checking. Awesome. Can we can we do these doors? Probably not. No, I don't think we can. Okay, guys, that is, uh, except for maybe, you know, doing a little bit of work out here. Well, we're still in paint mode. What the hell? Let's just do it. I was thinking about changing this, the look of this. So let's take a look at what are our stone options. Stone, large, mad mole, gravestone, or flagstone. Not a whole lot to work with, huh? Sidewalk cracked. Nah, that's going to look like shit. Um, we, we do have these, though. So we've got concrete blocks. Uh, brick tan one, brick tan two. Oh, brick pavers. Yeah, that looks kind of nice, doesn't it? I like that. I like that. Okay. Yeah, I do like that. Now, for the garden blocks, what might we be interested in doing here? Concrete trim black granite? Uh, no, I don't think so. We could go with another brick. Uh, a brick type. What does broken concrete look like? Oh, yeah, it looks like broken concrete. <laughs> That's not what we want. So we've got a couple of brick options here. What about brown brick? That's not bad. It seems a, a little bit on the bright side, though, actually. There's, of course, you know, normal brick, which could potentially work. Um, I don't think I'm going to like that one. Nope, I don't like that one. It's like somebody did a very sloppy masonry job there. Um, there's just the cobblestone look, which isn't too bad. Or, you know, we could we could keep keep with a wood theme. It's kind of cool. But, you know, what I'm Oh, look. <laughs> we painted the dirt. Oh, that is hilarious. I didn't know you could paint dirt. Oh my god, that's funny. Um I'm I, I kind of have like paving stones in mind though, right? So that's why I'm looking at this. What about that? It does have kind of a stone look to it. That's a little too weird. 
Concrete trim. That's a little too plain. Dead grass. Adobe. Uh, okay. Adobe white. What does that look like? Could work. Whoops. Could work. I hear a screamer. What about the this tile look? Uh, not terrible, but I think, I think I liked the first brick that we tried. Was it decayed brick or brick painted? No, that's like a white brick. No, that looks like normal brick. There, what was the very first one we did? I kind of liked that. Was it brick tan or brick brown? Yeah, I think it was brick brown. Actually, I don't like that one. What's that one look like? Nah. 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 That's the crappy looking brick. Decayed brick. We didn't try this one. Ooh. I think that's the one I like, you guys. Like stone pavers. Yeah. Yeah. I'm digging that. Okay. So that's what we're going to go with there. Um, be, l let's take a look at the wall next, though, too. Uh, at least the I interior wall. We'll probably leave the exterior wall the way it is, at least for now. Um, do we want to... I'm, I'm still kind of liking the whole brick idea. So for this, we could just go, ooh, we got company. Don't stop behind the tree, you dummy. This uh, scope is really squirrely when you're zoomed all the way out. Hold still. Got him. All right, let's see if we can snipe Big Mama in one shot. I'd say we did a pretty good job of sniping Big Mama in one shot. There's another Big Mama. Right over her head. Still not dead. Now she's dead. Now she did. Heard a screamer earlier. Okay. Well, let's get back to the task at hand. So what I was thinking is for this... Um, maybe we go with the actual, you know, ye old basic brick look, which is going to be back here. That kind of looks good, actually. What we'll do is we'll do the top of this brick, but we'll also do the, the sides too, like so. And then we'll, I'll do the pavers for the garden, um, and then, yeah, I think that'll look good. All right, you guys. Well, I'm going to let you go here, and I'll finish this off camera. Um, but I think we, we did good today. We, we accomplished quite a bit. We got the painting mostly done. Oh, we didn't get – we got to get the underneath side of that done, don't we? Okay, so I'll fix that, too, and get the garden finished. And then the next thing we need to do – we really only have two more major things that we have to do on the house before, it's, before I'll consider it done. Well, three more major things. We've got to get windows up here, so I'm going to have to figure out that solution. We've got to get the, um, we got to get it furnished in here, so we'll, you know, we'll decorate it and put some furniture up here and that sort of thing. And then we have to 
uh, and we have to put lights up. We have to get electrical lights put up. So once those three things are done, then I think we're finished uh, with the house. And uh, I think it's looking pretty good. I'm going to actually leave that the way it is because that does kind of look like a soffit, you know, type of look to it. So I think it's appropriate. But anyway, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. If you did, please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.